Okay, 25 minute, five second increment. Let's see how we're going to get on today. What are we practicing? We're just practicing our chess. We'll see what transpires. And through there, they're attacking here. It's a bit early for the queen, but you never know. Let's keep it simple in castle kingside. So they're probably looking to do the cheapy, as we know, getting the bishop here. So they're castling as well. So that's pretty straightforward. All simple stuff. Let's open up the y square bishop. I thought it was going for a big center attack there. So we'll just touch on the bishop with our bishop. Simple. Okay, they do grab. So behind here, we do have the discover check on the queen with the rook. We're just moving the knight out of the way to get the discover check on the queen. Oh, and we get the queen. So they have taken our knight, but we have taken a higher piece. So we will take the pawn and look to now try and just improve our position. This pawn doesn't have any protection. As we said, this pawn doesn't have any protection. We can just simply defend it. Don't need to get carried away with ourselves. Their king is a little bit airy. Maybe we'll make some inroads in towards attacking. So now they're going to go greedy munching for this pawn here. I think we can allow that because we're looking to get our queen facing their king. I don't know what traction we can get with that. Might just be a momentary check. So we'll go with the momentary check. Got to be mindful of the discover check on our own queen. Don't think there's any way of getting in there. He's going to get his rook facing us. Um, so let's have a look at these apples. This pawn's going to move. So if we get this knight out. So at least we're getting out the rook into operation potentially to here. Obviously the rook is challenging us. So we can move our queen here. Or we could move it to the side. I think I like these. Oh, it's got like a two on one situation with the rooks. So it's got like two pieces on the rook there. Not sure it's a checkmate type thing, but uh, we shall see. Right. So I think we're going here. Oh, was that a. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, a misclick. Oh, am I falling into some? I don't think I am, am I? <laughs> oh dear. I will take here. Oh, that's a shame. I think I bet they were meant to come. Oh, they're just giving pieces up now. We could go here, put a check on the king. Or just take the rook off the board. Might as well just take the rook off the board. I've not put anything in the chat, so maybe it wasn't a mouse slip and they thought they were getting something. It looks like they've left the game because the resign button seems to be eluding. So we'll click a uh, victory on that one. All right, I don't. Let's have a look at the situation, see if it was as bad as. I don't think it was really, but we shall see. Okay, so the rook comes across. It's showing minus six, so it doesn't didn't really make any difference, really. Because we were potentially looking coming here to put a check on the king. Computer saying f6 here, so maybe it's looking to just actually take one of the rooks off the board, is it? Let's see what it looks like if we do do that. It's just dropped two, two, three points, maybe. So if the rook does take, or which one? Anyone? Well, they brought this rook down, so I thought that they were going to do that. So it's minus four now. Okay, so just move it out of the way, as we would do. And what do they do again? Maybe go here. But then at that point, we can just take the rook off the board, or we can move the king. He just keeps putting checks on us, and then he'll probably get our queen. So I think we'll probably get away with taking here. 
obviously want to get the queen off. So we've got a rook and they've got like no rook and they've got two, three minor pieces. So it would have been okay for us. Nice one.